Check out our VAP experience where you can become one of those invited guests and have the opportunity to walk down and explore actual sets used for filming. And uh, fireworks. Now, we're going to hear our special effects team tell us. You can see some of these picture cars have been as famous as the stars who have driven them. And of course, we could not talk about picture cars without mentioning our very own The Fast and the Furious. Universal Pictures has brought you bigger, faster, better cars with the fast and the furious film. Yeah, yeah. Now to recreate some of these scenes, almost impossible in real life, we have to rely on our special effects, like motion and go! Smoke! Go! Fire! Go! Okay, we're clear for a full run through, all systems checked. This one's for real, guys, so watch out. And action! And All right, big round of applause for Karna to Karma. Boys, take a bow, even if nobody clapped. Thank you very much. Hey, you guys have some dance moves? You want to show us? Dance it out, Carter. Dance it out. <laughs> All right. There we go. Hey, do that little turn that I showed you yesterday. Yeah, that one. Right there. There we go. We 
didn't go to any island. Everything was shot here in the background of Universal Studios. Now you also might see the cages are empty, the dinosaurs are extinct. I don't, oh, 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 wait, wait, did you guys see that? There's something behind those bushes, some bunny rabbits and squirrels and spitting dinosaurs. Oh. You know what, you guys? It sounds like it's pouring out there. And Mark and I are getting really nervous because here in North Mexico, when it rains this much, there's flash floods and mudslides, and the tram is in the way of a flash flood right now. So we better get out of here before it floods over the second car and then the third car, and then babies are floating everywhere, and people are yelling at me and freaking out. I know it's not funny, but it's not fun. So let's get, let's get out of here before that happens. What? Want to stay? Oh no! It's in the way flood. It's too late. Watch out! <laughs> that was for me in the 1940s, but now Mark is rushing us across the border and we're going from old Mexico into the wild, wild west. Welcome to Six Points, Texas. Yeehaw! <laughs> okay, that's what we call facades. A facade is only the front and the side of the building what we actually make. Secret, you know, they can fire me if I tell you. Uh, but we're going into it. Okay. Okay. You guys, please do not stand up. Remain seated here in Southern California. We always have small rebel inside me. Oh, yeah. that there isn't a shark there anymore so we could go down to the beach and oh hey George what, what are you doing man what are those bubbles what's happening oh no George get out of there get out of there George oh, Georgie <laughs> you know what George had a lot of guts and there they are floating in the water uh, here, okay, it's gonna be fine. What? Oh, I think not. Oh, no. Oh, no. Watch out! You got to leave! Okay, you guys. Don't take your eyes off that yellow buoy in the middle of the ocean because that's where the shark is! Yeah, car number four, you were screaming like little girls. Yeah, you too, sir. Don't yeah. shake your head at me. You were screaming like little girls. You're going to recognize it right away because everybody wants to live here. Everybody wants to um, live next to some very desperate housewives. That's right. This is Wisteria Lane from ABC's Desperate Housewives. If there is one thing everyone in suburbia can appreciate, it's a good name. Get him off and 
Oh no. <gasps> hey guys, I think it's Norma Bates. He's it's getting hot. rid of his victim, Marion Crane. You know what, I don't want to end up in that trunk, so we're gonna get out of here before he notices us, okay? <laughs> Let's get out of here, Mark. What? Oh no. Norman, give us your phone number! Oh no, he saw us already. <laughs> oh, let's get out of here, Mark. Oh! Norman! Stop it! Go away! We're gonna be stopping at the heart of this colossal set, so as soon as the tram comes to a complete stop, you're able to stand up and take pictures if you like. The airplane crash site set is a perfect example of a set that is something you don't see. You're doing good. You're doing good. Or being in the middle of the desert just like in National Treasure, the Book of Secrets with Nicolas Cage. Also, biggest uh, the biggest loser. They use our false fake area. And in these other productions, check it out. He also used real working sets. And right now we're going into a set that was used for The Mummy and the Mummy Returns. Now let me tell you, this set was abandoned because people believe it's haunted. <laughs> okay? I, I, I don't believe in that, but you know, it gets me kind of scared. Um, you know, it's kind of hard to believe. I don't think it's that real and... Uh oh. Oh no. Now that sounds scary and creepy. Okay, what's going on? Still waiting for the tram ahead of us. Thank you. 